the question and answer with animal care. I'm Amber, and I work here at the Cook Museum of Natural Science as a lead natural science educator. And I'm really, really excited because Cassie Elias, our live animal manager, invited us to the Oceans exhibit to come talk about kale. So let's go, come on. Hey Amber, are you ready to talk about kale? Yeah, I am, I'm ready. Not that type of kale, Amber. The sea turtle kale. Oh, oh man, okay. Let's talk about the newest resident in the ocean's tank. Yeah, let's get started. We know that Kale is a sea turtle, but what type of sea turtle is he? He is a Kemp's Ridley sea turtle, and they're one of the smallest, most endangered sea turtles in the world. Wow. So if he is an endangered species, how did Kale wind up here at the museum, at the Cook Museum? It was a long process and a whole lot of work, but First, there has to be a sea turtle that's deemed non-releasable, and that means that the animal has something that's causing it to be impossible or life-threatening to that animal to be released back into the wild. And then we have to be approved by U.S. Fish and Wildlife. We have to get permits. There's staff that needs to be knowledgeable about sea turtles and a veterinarian to care for their health and the tank has to have all of the right parameters for that individual sea turtle. Wow, that's a lot. What makes kale non-releasable? That's a good question. He was accidentally caught by a fisherman in the Chesapeake Bay and brought to the Virginia Aquarium and Marine Science Center's Stranding Center. There, he had surgeries that were pretty invasive to remove the hook, but eventually the hook was removed and it saved his life, but it left a fistula. Oh my goodness, what in the world is a fistula? <laughs> so a fistula is a hollow space where food or debris can get trapped. And that means that it could cause an infection and be life-threatening to kale in the wild. So we have our staff and vets monitor his fistula and it has to be flushed out every once in a while, which is why he's non-releasable. How long is kale going to be with us here at the museum? Kemp's Ridley sea turtles can live 50 to 80 years, and we believe kale's somewhere around four to six years old, so he's going to have a forever home here at the museum for a long time. That's amazing. He's going to live for such a long time. That's super cool. And I have a random question. Does yeah. kale eat kale? <laughs> That's a good question. Actually, no. Uh, Kemp's Ridley sea turtles are omnivores, but their main diet in the wild are crustaceans, like crabs. And here at the museum, he gets squid, shrimp, uh, silver sides, herring, and we do feed him blue crab as well. And then a sea turtle gel that's really nutritious and has those nutrients and vitamins that he would get from the food that he eats in the wild. What do you hope that people take away from getting to see kale here at the Cook Museum? Well, Kale has gone through a lot of obstacles in his life, and I think that's relatable to a lot of people, but their species is also dealing with a lot of obstacles. Kemp's Ridley sea turtles are critically endangered, and there's ways that we can help from right here in North Alabama. We can help from right here in North Alabama? Oh, yeah. How? How do we help? How do we get started? Plastic pollution is a big problem for sea turtles. They mistake it for jellyfish a lot of times in the wild and there's a lot of sea turtles that eat jellyfish so when they eat this plastic it's undigestible to them and can be very deadly so ways that we can help to keep the oceans clean of this plastic pollution is using cloth bags or metal straws uh, metal water bottles are all really easy ways that we can help from right here to keep our oceans clean for sea turtles and the thousands of other species that live there Wow, this is so cool. Thank you so much, Cassie, for letting us see kale, <laughs> not the vegetable, but right. the animal. Yeah. He's You're super cool. So welcome. Yeah. And we'll see you guys soon. Bye. Today we got to learn all about the newest resident here at the Cook Museum of Natural Science, kale, a Kemp's Ridley sea turtle. Kale is a non-releasable sea turtle. He has a fistula or a hole in his throat that makes eating for him a little tricky. And our animal care staff do a really good job taking care of him. And he has his forever home here at the Cook Museum. So we hope you guys come to see him really soon. And check us out next time for the next question and answer with animal care. See you guys later. Bye.
you can find the shirts that Amber and I were wearing in this video at the museum store.